Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, April 17, 2020. This week how to use torn classic photo frames and ripped vintage photo frames, which are PNG frames, in Photoshop and Elements. Katie Pertit's torn classic photo frames and ripped vintage photo frames are a favorite among digital crafters. These sets are an easy way to give dimension and texture to your project. I'm frequently asked the best way to use these frames since they're delivered as PNG frames with only one layer. If you're used to working with layered frames, you may be wondering how these are different. The first thing that you'll notice is that the frame files are like a digital image with a transparent window. You'll slip your photo behind this window so that your picture peeks out through the window. Here's how. The torn classic and ripped vintage frames are delivered as PNG images, and each frame will have a shadowed version and a shadow free version. Begin by opening the frame of your choice in Photoshop or Elements. For the sample, I'm using Katie Pertit's Torn Classic White Photo Frames number 4, but you can use this technique with any PNG digital frame that is one layer. Also open a digital photo and either a new blank document or the digital project that you're working on. Get the Move tool, which is the first tool in the Tools panel, and drag the photo over onto your working document. Then minimize the photo. Next, target the frame and drag the frame onto the document or digital project that you're working on. It should come in right above the photo. So at the top should be your frame layer, then the photo layer, and then your background or your working document. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the frame at this point. If somehow your frame came in under the photo like this and you can't see it, you can go ahead and drag it up above the photo layer in the Layers panel. Move the frame into position over the photo here in the Editing window. And then click the Photo layer to select it. Press Ctrl T on a Mac system, that's Command T on the keyboard. This activates the corner handles, and you can use these corner handles to resize your photo. If you drag toward the center of the photo, you can make the photo smaller, and if you drag outward from the photo, it makes the photo larger. Tick the check mark to confirm the change. It'll either be at the top of the editing window, or it will be right below the photo if you're using elements. Now you'll need to remove the sections of the photo that are sticking out from behind the frame. You may be tempted to use the eraser tool to erase away the portion of the photo outside the frame, but the most non-destructive way of doing this is to use a mask. It's very simple and unlike erasing, it can be easily altered later if you decide that you want to tweak the way the photo is positioned inside the frame. So continue by selecting the frame layer. Get the magic wand tool and click once inside the frame. Marching ants will surround the frame window. Slightly expand this selection by choosing Select, Modify, Expand. And here you'll be able to type in a selection. For the sample, about seven pixels works, but you can use more or less depending on the photo that you're using and the frame that you're using. But type in a number here and click OK. Now you'll see that the marching ants are slightly beyond the frame opening, and that's exactly what we want it to be. In the Layers panel, click the Photo layer, and then click the Add Layer Mask icon. This icon looks like a little camera. It's a rectangle with a circle inside. It's at the bottom of the Layers panel in Photoshop, but at the top of the Layers panel in Elements. When you click the icon, the parts outside of the selection disappear, and your photo looks perfectly framed. Press the Control key or on a Mac System Command key and select both the frame layer and the photo layer. 
Holding the control or command key allows you to select both of them at the same time. Now click the link layers icon in the layers panel. In Photoshop it's down below and in elements it'll be to the left side of the layer. It looks like a little link in a chain and it links together the frame and the photo so that you can get the move tool and move them around on your page and they move together. If sometime later you decide you don't like the way the photo is framed, just drag the layer mask icon down to the trash bin in Photoshop and Elements and press delete. That gets rid of the mask that you made. And now your entire photo is visible again. Unlink the layers and then you can create a new mask to hide the portions that stick out from behind the frame. So I could reposition or resize the photo and then get the magic wand tool, target the frame and click inside, expand the selection, and then click the photo layer again and click the layer mask. Using these simple steps, you can use any of the PNG type frame sets to place realistic looking frames around your photos. Thanks so much for watching this week's video and be sure to check back in two weeks for another Designer Digitals tip.